Open your PineGrow web editor. Click on Open Project. Now choose the Starter Project folder and click Select. Now click on the index.html file to open it. Now you should see a block with horizontally scrollable contents, which are our slides. At the moment, this is built with just HTML and CSS. Now let's check the HTML layout. The div with the class name PGIA slider is our slider block. It has three main child blocks with the class names PGIA slides container, PGIA controls, and PGIA progress. As you may have guessed, PGIA slides container contains the main slide blocks with the class name PGIA slide. You can have any number of slides here and each slide can contain its own contents. PGIA controls contains all the control buttons and PGIA pagination block. Control buttons are the two links for triggering the slider to go to the previous and next slides. And PGIA pagination block has only one item initially. Later, we will dynamically add more pagination dots depending on the number of slides with the help of PineGrow interactions. Finally, PGIA progress contains PGIA progress bar block, which will be used as an indicator for slides. The CSS styles applied to these blocks are pretty simple. In any subsequent project, you should modify the height of the PGIA slider block and alter the PGIA slide blocks to work with your contents. It's best to keep the rest as it is, but you can modify CSS to change the placement or style of slider controls and pagination dots. Now I want to show you something interesting in the style.css file. In the project panel, click on the CSS folder, then click on the style.css file and it should open in the code editor. Now if you check the code, class name PGIA slides container has overflow hidden so that the scroll bar will not be visible. But this prevents scrolling with touch gestures on touch enabled devices. So we use the media query any pointer course to set the overflow to auto for devices with touch pointers. We also have a neat trick that makes it easier to edit the slider in PineGrow. We are targeting the PGIA slides container with a data-pg-id attribute and applied overflow auto, making its scroll bar visible. Data-pg-id is a special attribute used by PineGrow during editing. This will make the scroll bar visible only when we're viewing the slider in PineGrow. The scroll bar will make it easier to navigate around the slider when we're working on it, but it won't be shown in the browser. The CSS file on this starter project only contains CSS for this slider and there's no extra CSS applied. So that's it for the layout of our slider. Let's close the code editor and start adding interactions.